Once you have your document started in Adobe Illustrator, you're likely ready to get started with your illustration. But it's good to do some things to prepare your document before you start actually creating an illustration. First of all, you want to be organized when you create the illustration. There can be a lot of paths and a lot of information in your document once you get started. So I'm going to get organized by going to Window Layers. That opens up my Layers panel. Most of the time the Layers panel will show up in the dock down here, but I'm going to, I'm going to drag it out so that you can see it pretty clearly. Um, right now if I look at my Layers panel, I can click on this little triangle. I basically have one layer. I can click on this little triangle and I have one image. It's just named Image by default. And I have a little eyeball to the left, kind of similar like what you see in Adobe Illust excuse me, Adobe Photoshop. However, layers are not used in the same way in Adobe Illustrator. Layers are strictly used for organizing your work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little flyout menu in my layers panel. It's a little hard to see. It's three lines and a little triangle. Um, and I'm going to choose new layer right here. So I'm going to be using the this little flyout menu and, and I'm going to choose new layer. Now I'm going to create a layer basically for every object that I'm going to trace in this document. So I can have a background layer, I can have an apple layer, I can have a stem layer, I can even have a shadow layer and a highlight layer if I want. Um, it's up to you. This is purely for your own organization. So you can have one layer for the entire run or you can create 100 layers, however many you want. So I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call it a background. And I'm going to make another new layer. I'm going to call this one Apple or Apple Trace, maybe. I'm going to make another new layer. And by the way, I haven't changed anything else. I'm just typing the names out. I'll call this one Stem Layer. Um, I'll go make an another new layer. I'll call this one Highlight and so on. So you can create as many as you want as I mentioned. Um, so when I make these new layers you'll see that there's several options you can choose template, lock, show, print, preview, and dim images. Typically I don't mess with any of that. Um, in some cases I do use a template layer. I'll show that in future videos. But by default you can just leave these three checked and you should be in good shape. The only other thing that you might want to know is you have different layer colors. The layer colors are strictly for reference. They're not going to print out, they're not going to show, um, but when you have an image on a layer, for example this layer 1 is where my photograph image is, you see it highlighted in blue there. So it's very very dim but that tells me that it is on the blue layer which is layer 1. So it's a very very minor thing. Now the, um, I'm going to rename layer 1 by double clicking layer 1 on the word layer one and I'm gonna name that photograph and you can name it whatever you want um, so now I have several layers started my organization is started and I'm ready to go with the actual tracing of my image ready to do that I'm gonna go ahead and click on this little um, blank square right here and that brings up this lock button you can lock all your layers or you can just lock one. I particularly want the photograph layer to be locked. Now I cannot accidentally move this photograph. So that just helps me prepare my work for future reference. So I'm going to go ahead and um, move on to the next step of actually starting the trace of my image.